known for his roles in the hit TV shows Lucifer, Suits, and 24. In his new TV show, it's called The Night Agent. It is so good. He plays Secret Service agent Eric Monks, who's returning to the job after a long hiatus. In one scene, he tells his team leader the truth about why he was away for so long after taking like a bullet for I the president. I know you're an addict. I know they forced you into rehab. And I know that if you were anyone other than the boss's old partner, they'd never have put your back on in detail. Did you miss anything? No, you're mostly right. Getting shot, that started me on painkillers. It wouldn't look good to have me wash out, so they said if I stayed clean for a year that I could... that I could start back at the bottom. You said mostly right. Yeah. You said I was an addict. I still am. Always will be. Not supposed to make me feel any more calm. I don't really think he's an addict. D.B. Woodside joins us now at the table. Good morning. Welcome. Good to see morning. you, David Bryant Woodside, because I bet your mom's watching since she lives in New York. Uh, my so mom we is are probably very glad to have you at the table. Yes, it's not like the name D.B. Yes. No, that's what people call me. <laughs> yeah, D.B. Yeah. You know, listen, I had planned to watch a couple of episodes, two or three. It's ten episodes. I watched all ten episodes because this show, this series is that good, and you are knockout in it. Oh. So, bravo. It takes many twists and turns. That's does, what I liked yes, about it. But you say of all the characters you played, and you played many, this one is closest to you. How? Um, it's, uh, well, the role itself is just really kind of gritty, and it's about someone who uh, is battling this drug addiction after doing something really great. And yeah. when I was much younger, I, you know, explored that area, uh -huh. and I think a lot of addicts sometimes um, use to kind of numb the pain of things that they're going through. Mm -hmm. um, but he and has an amazing well? comeback story. You did as when well? When I was much younger, yeah. You were much wow. younger. Yeah. And you, but you, you say that you're an introvert. Yes. I said, how can you have this job and be an introvert? I know. Play the roles you play. Uh, that surprises a lot of people, but it's, um, um, it's a wiring of the brain, you know. I, uh, yes, there are a lot of actors that are extroverts, but there are quite a few of us uh, that are introverts as well, which means... We like to go to work, yes. do our job, and then when the job is over, we need to go home uh -huh. to recharge before we can go back. Uh -huh. So you're not going to see us out. You don't really see me We're out. We're not going to see places. you at the parties. You're not going to see me at the parties, no. Yeah. It's uh, basically turning on the light switch, right? Yes. When you go back to work, you, it's, so you flick it on, you're on, and you do your job, and people interact with you, and you interact with people, yes. they think, he's so great. Yes. And you go home, and you're like... Exhausted. Yes. <laughs> Exhausted. So if you want to reach me, text. Yes. <laughs> yeah. That's it. So, so to prepare for this role, uh, you put out a call. You play a Secret Service agent. You put out a call on Twitter, I think it was, or on yes. social media, to meet with any uh, past Secret Service agents. Did you actually meet with any, and, and what did you learn? Um, I talked to... Uh, I mostly talked to, to uh, people that had uh, served. Uh, uh, I talked to one uh, secret, ex-Secret Service agent. Um, I talked to... Uh, a guy that was in the uh, Rangers, uh, Noah Pandia. Uh, and I talked to uh, uh, my friend, um, uh, Amy, who was on Lucifer. Uh, her, her boyfriend uh, served as well. And uh, uh, all three of those uh, incredible men um, really taught me a lot and shared stories with me. And it really helped to get into the mindset of this guy. They were Did you fantastic. learn more about why, you know, to be a Secret Service agent, you have to take a bullet, potentially, for yeah. the person you're protecting. That yeah. is the job description. It's yeah. actually not the person. Oh, you're not taking a bullet for the person. You're taking a bullet for the institution. Amazing. Oh. Amazing. And when you start thinking about it that way, it's very different. Oh. Um, I hadn't so thought of it that way. You're there to so protect the institution. Uh -huh. uh, not but the you're still taking a bullet. <laughs> yeah. You are taking a bullet. You still yeah. could end up dead, like D E A D dead. Yes. yes. So I want to go back to you being an introvert, because I'm so fascinated by you in terms of your idea of a perfect night in and how you view your job and how much you still like your job. What's your idea of a perfect night in for you? Oh, my gosh. Uh, a perfect night in. Asking is, for a uh, friend. Is uh, <laughs> uh, having a glass of wine with a really good book or um, a great show that I haven't had the chance to, to see, mm -hmm. uh, to kind of binge watch that. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have a little gym at home. Uh, a gym at home? Yeah, uh -huh. uh, work out, uh, maybe have one friend over and uh, 
uh, have have dinner, mm -hmm. uh, go for walks. I need to change chairs with Tony. <laughs> <laughs> One friend over. Yeah. Gail is basically <laughs> got her little checkbook. She's like, uh-huh. Yes. I got it, that. Does I it got have that. a treadmill and an elliptical and a rowing machine? It definitely has a, a treadmill. Okay, good. Uh, not a rowing machine. Okay. And not a uh, elliptical. Okay, well, we can work on that. <laughs> and what else would we be doing? Just pretending here. Um, you can use your acting skills at this moment. All right. Uh, do you like walks? Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. Um, I, tend to I like... got some tennis shoes. Go all ahead. right. I like walks through neighborhoods because I like to look at different, the different architecture of homes. Mm -hmm. I think it says a lot about an area. Do you like dogs? I love dogs. Me too. I absolutely love dogs. Me too. Me too. <laughs> Do you cook? Yes. Um, I try. Ooh, gonna be ordering um, in. Okay. I try, but I want to learn. You're gonna be ordering in. Yes. How to get better? Yeah. Uh, so, Me too, uh, Tony. Yeah. Yes. When we go to commercial, we need one of those graphics of the heart. It goes across <laughs> <No. laughs> the TV screen. As no, we go I'm to just commercial. kidding. It, it really. I got so psyched about your show. All, all Thank kidding you aside, so you were so good. The show is so good. And I can't wait for people to see it and see how good you are in it. Thank you very much. Cheering you on always. Thank you. Thank nice you job. So and we love Lucifer. And I loved you in The Temptations. Played Melvin Franklin. I love The Temptations. Did you? I so did. did. I love I The did. Temptations. Wasn't that great, yeah. Gail? <laughs> wait, I, okay, sorry. We, we, yes. we love it for different reasons. Yes. <laughs> I have a little pitch. Uh, yes. This year is going to be the 25th anniversary of The Temptations. And I think it would be great for NBC to get us all back together again and talk about Yes, it. come back and bring some friends. Would your mother like me? <laughs> my mother would love you. I, I know for a fact my mother does love you. And I'm gonna oh, get a phone right, call. Good to go, time. good to go. I'm, I'm gonna get a phone call in about five to 10 minutes. I'm telling you that right now. <laughs> thank, thank you, Jimmy. Thank Anyone you for so coming. Much. Nice thank to you, meet Gina. you, Mrs. Woodside. <laughs> you can watch The Night Agent starting this Thursday. Am I on the right camera? I'm yeah, so yeah. confused. <laughs> on Netflix, on Netflix.